Walkthrough, Part 34 The Hourglass, Save 34. For better or worse, it's time for you to get to the top of the hourglass and do some mojo with the dagger. Walk along the path until it abruptly ends. You'll be right above the save point. Move against the wall and climb onto the ledge. Use wall runs to cross the gaps. You'll come to a stained glass window with a nearby bar. Run along the glass and leap to the bar, then swing and jump to the hourglass. Following the cutscene, we'll let you discover what happens, you and Sarah end up far below the Tower of Dawn. In the darkness you talk. When you finally find light, Sarah is gone. There's an open sarcophagus so, taking a gamble, you drop down. As you take control of the prince once more, your first mission is to head down a long, long, long winding staircase. The strange room you've entered, with Sarah calling for you from an apparent void, is a tricky one to solve. There are seven doors, plus the entrance. You must enter the correct doors in the correct order to get to the second level and then do the same thing in the second level. Enter the wrong room and you'll end up at the entrance having to do the whole thing over again. Check out the image below and follow the order for rooms to enter. The entrance is the only door that has a stone face above it. Level 1, take door 4 and arrive at door 2, take door 7 and arrive at door 5, take door 3 and arrive at door 6, take door 1 and arrive at the entrance on level 2. Once you're on the second level, Check out the picture below and follow the instructions to find Sarah. Level 2, take door 4 to arrive at door 7, take door 9 to arrive at door 1, take door 5 to find Sarah enjoy the cutscene that follows. You may want to wait until your mom or girlfriend or both are away, so you can enjoy this one all alone. What happens? Oh, you know. Things. You awaken alone in a tomb without any weapons. How many times does that have to happen to a man before he wises up? Sheesh. Well, you did it all for the Nuki. Problem is, there are blue knights advancing on the room. Fortunately, they really just look at you menacingly. Run past them and into the room with the many mirrors. The blue knights don't follow. There's a sword here, one that is ridiculously powerful. But you'll need to solve the room's puzzle before it can be yours. There are four movable mirrors in the room and also four stained spots. Easy, right? As you enter the room, grab the mirror straight ahead and move it back slightly so it is on the stain. Then go to the mirror on the left and move it right, past the mirror you just moved, to the stain on the right side of the room. Adjust the mirror until the light bounces off it and project to the back end of the room. Go to the mirror in the far corner and move it to the left when facing the altar onto the stain. Lastly, move the final mirror onto the last stain. Adjust the last two mirrors you were moving until the light shines on the symbol below the altar it will glow yellow. This causes the defense system to vanish so you can grab the sword. This new sword can destroy walls and doors with one swing and is powerful enough to dust sand demons with a single blow. However, this is not the same as your dagger, so you are currently powerless. That's right, you can't rewind, freeze enemies or slow time. You can break down the wooden door with your sword if you want to, but best to head back to the tomb and strike down a trio of blue knights. They can still block your attack but a single hit will eviscerate them. Once they are obliterated, go to the safe point. You've earned yourself another vision.